Okay, so uh, in order to uh, remove the spindle, the spindle goes uh, this way, down. Um, so I have to remove all of these parts, I imagine. And uh, this is the first uh, one I'll work on. And it's the only one that turns with the spindle. And uh, clearly it's balanced. I don't know if you can see the, the, the holes there. But I can't see any aligning marks. So uh, I guess I'm going to make uh, one of my own with a marker. Just like that. And just to be safe, I'm going to uh, mark one inside as well. So uh, there's less chance I uh, erase it. Okay, so. Um, this is clearly too loose. And this is too fat. So I guess I'll have to go into metric for the first time. Yep, looks like it's metric. Five millimeter. First uh, metric. Uh, first time I hit some uh, metric uh, fasteners on this machine. Okay, I don't suppose this is going to just unscrew. Oh, yeah, so cool. Easy. Well, a little bit went well. Uh, something I didn't check just quickly for fun. Do I just screw it uh, all the way down. We'll see if the aligning mark, yeah, see. So I just screw it all the way down. Okay, now we know. Yeah, clearly this, this was in, the, in contact here. Okay. No, I think that's the one here, not too big. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't seem to be any uh, uh, Loctite or anything of that sort. So. Oh, bearing already. I didn't expect that. Is this part of the spindle? Could it be? Um, maybe I don't have to remove this. I'm going to try to uh, loosen the screws uh, on the bottom. I'll put this back in for now because uh, it's unclear uh, as if it needs to be uh, taken, uh, taken off. I'll take a look though now that I'm here. Let's have a look. Okay, um, there's a, a o-ring here, and it's uh, it looks like it's uh, it wasn't uh, in place uh, correctly. So uh, that might be where the leak came from. Could very well be. That's an interesting find. 
and this I'll have to change as well. It's uh, it's busted, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, change this. Okay, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll loosen the screws uh, on the bottom. I'll move you uh, closer. Okay, so I got all of the the bolts uh, out, a few threads. Uh, I made sure they were uh, hanging out about the same length, uh, so that I can uh, hit the top of the spindle with the mallet and hopefully uh, break the seal. And we'll see the spindle fall uh, all the way to. Uh, to the, the the screws, the caphead screws, uh, and reveal uh, a gap here. Okay, so we're back here again. Uh, so this time we'll uh, remove it all. Okay. Okay. These uh, washers are in a very bad shape. I'm going to replace these. All this. There's an o-ring here, but it's uh, completely uh, squished. That needs to be replaced.
that one is uh, pretty well, pretty much deformed as well. I'm going to replace this one as well. Okay. Now I don't see why uh, this uh, shouldn't move down a bit. Yep. Maybe I should uh, hit on this surface instead of this. Uh. Mm, I don't like to see dust uh, going in there. Have to take care of these bearings. There you go. Did you see it move? Okay, we got it. Okay, so now I want to go very slowly. Uh, I want to check if there is any uh, filler stock um, that was used to align uh, the spindle this way. And I think I see some actually right here. Uh, so we want to take note of where it was and probably uh, put it back there when uh, I reassemble it. And start from there for alignment. Or maybe I remove it all and I don't know. But still, I'm going to make sure I uh, I note where it was. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'm going to uh, chance it and uh, hold it uh, as it's uh, coming down. I'm gonna go slow about it though. First, I'll remove the hardest uh, to reach screw, which is the one on the back. And have a look at its uh, at its length, so I'll have a note, an idea of it. how much I must I must uh, unscrew before the whole thing uh, falls into my hands. So they're not very long. So the filler stuck is uh, on the back from one side to the other. Okay, here we go. Okay, so before uh, we look at the spindle itself, uh, we'll have a look at uh, the, uh, the inside of the the casting. It's. Uh, pretty crusty in there I don't know if you can see well I'm trying to uh, light it with my phone and uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm you should see my uh, filming equipment it's so bad uh, soon I'll have an iPhone uh, 11 Pro and I'll try to uh, to use this uh, film instead but for now this is what we have 
Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it for the inside of the casting. So I'm really glad I opened it up. Uh, I'm gonna clean this all up and even probably uh, paint it, paint the inside as well. We'll see. And down below, you can see uh, the o ring there. Uh, it fits uh, flat on the surface, but it has a groove on the spindle. We'll have a look at it. That's, uh, that's the o ring. Look at the o ring. It's uh, it's uh, lost its uh, shape completely. It's uh, flattened, so that will need uh, to be uh, replaced. Okay, the spindle now. There it is. This is where the the cleaning uh, fluid comes in. I think we can see uh, the shape of it. It's pretty crusty as well. Uh, these uh, these holes, I think, is for uh, the chilling uh, fluid and uh, the groove for the, the o-ring is there I think so most probably and these are the, the filler stock um, trying to find a way for my phone to uh, Okay, so this is the, the filler stock, and you can see where it was. So uh, I didn't lose its position, so I'll be be able to uh, make a note of it. Actually, uh, we'll uh, measure the thickness just for fun, just for kicks, uh, and I guess I'll put the the that part that. Uh, hides the, the, the bearings so that uh, they stay clean before putting it aside so that's it that's the spindle my friends yay thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next video bye